Okay, smaller screen today. I uh, recorded the whole thing on Snapchat, so this is basically my Snapchat download. Um, a very small amount of hypertrophy work today, just chest to start, uh, focusing on the inside pec. Here's like the bent over partial movement, um, just to focus on chest development through the inside of your pec. I, the main idea today was purely for the finisher and the fat loss workout, but I did a little bit of hypertrophy to start. Um, so just a couple of sets, four sets on chest, three sets on biceps, and then three sets on triceps to finish. Um, as I said, the main idea of today's workout was just to get a fat loss high intensity workout, which you'll see now in a second. Uh, so here we go, I doubled up with the clean cut boys, so uh, they're giving me my food all week, um, so they jumped in with my finisher today, absolutely brutal, it was 5 rounds total, um, a mix between spider walks, dumbbell burpees, um, then outside waves on battle ropes, and then it finished with uh, prowler pushes, so I'll put the full link in the description, um, you're looking for a high intensity fat loss workout, definitely try this, I did 5 rounds, but start with 3 and build your way up. Okay, workout done. Uh, doubled up with the clean cut boys for the finisher. Absolutely brutal. Okay, I got my post workout meal, uh, which is from clean cut meals. It's beef, rice, and cauliflower. Um, dying to get stuck into this. So stay tuned. I'm tracking all the meals today. So this is the first from the clean cut boys. Um, so I'll catch up with you guys in my week. next meal. Uh, it's 4 p.m. now. So about three hours ago, I had the last one. Uh, which is chicken and rice from Clean Cut Meals. Uh, I'll link them in the description. So Clean Cut Meals have been sending out all my meals um, and you can get them and they'll deliver it. If you're in the Galway area, they'll deliver it right to your door in the morning. Uh, their stuff is so good. Uh, so the macros on this are about about 50 grams of carbs um, and about 50 grams of protein with you know zero to five grams of fat. Um, again, as I said, I don't track my macros massively. I know from looking at them. But uh, post-workout meals, I tend to keep my carbs pretty high um, just because of obviously insulin sensitivity. And for me, performance is kind of key at the minute so I can keep my carbs higher. Um, again, that being said, as long as the food's clean, I tend to stay pretty lean. So as long as your food is clean and your timing, your macros right, um, you shouldn't put on any fat or body fat on top of it unless you're in a massive calorie surplus. Um, yeah, so hope that helps. Stay tuned. Next meal, hey guys. Okay, going to do a quick video outside. Uh Again, just chilling on my balcony. It's absolutely amazing today. It must be like 30 degrees. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit. I was just watching a video on Ty Lopez um, and he was talking about self-esteem. And it kind of triggered because I was talking to a young kid today um, and he was telling me about that he has no confidence. And I was kind of giving him the advice on where confidence comes from and where self-esteem comes from. The reality is self-esteem and confidence comes from saying you're going to do something and then going and doing it. Um, I've had countless people ask where, like, you can use yourself as your own best example, because you're your own best example, um, where my confidence comes from. And now I have endless confidence in terms of when I say I'm gonna do something, I know I'm gonna do it, um, nearly to a delusional side. But again, I believe that the most successful people in the world are somewhat delusional in their thinking. It's why that they've achieved great things. Um, but the reality is it's setting the target and doing, saying you're gonna do something and doing it. It doesn't matter what avenue you channel that in. Um, this is why I always loved competing because for those of you following me a while, you know that I have a love-hate with competing. Um, I don't like the extremes. I don't like the counting macros, the obsessing how you look side of it. But on the flip side of it, it is something that you set out to do and then when you achieve it, confidence grows from that. I always say the reality is when you, someone that preps for a photo shoot or preps for a show or preps for something like that, the confidence you derive from that makes you a stronger person on the other side. You literally have set a goal that you're gonna do something and then you go and do it and the, the stage is the physical manifestation of all of your hard work. And I, I, I've enjoyed that and I like that side of it. But it doesn't have to be from competing. You get that from any aspect of life. If you say you're gonna lose you know, two stone and you wanna lose two stone in you know, three months or six months or whatever it is, when you do that, that builds confidence because you said you were gonna do something and then you went and did it. You know, The same way as when you're want to get out of your job or you hate what you're doing you're like oh I'd love to do work here or do this you're like when you actually put the plans in place and do that confidence grows from saying you're going to do something and doing it you know if you watched my vlog from last week I showed all the whiteboards and my room is destroyed with you know things of where I'm going to go and what I'm going to do they're just the only reason I use those is because they help me stay on track on where I'm going um, and the confidence comes from saying I'm gonna do something and doing it. I, I said I keep the old goals up there because at one time in my life I've looked at those and they seemed unrealistic and unachievable and now they've all been done and surpassed. So confidence comes from that. So it doesn't matter what you say you're gonna do, you know, decide on what it is. You know, are you gonna get into a better job or get into better shape or 
compete in a show or do a photo shoot or get onto a sports team or whatever it is. Say you're going to do something and then go and do it. That's where confidence comes from. Hey everyone, okay, last meal um, before bed. I'm going to have porridge and some turkey mints before bed. Um, but I've got a, no a zero carb meal, uh, which is basically just a mixture of salads. It seems to be a load of different veg, veg in it. Um, and just some chicken with some spices on top. Um, so I'm going to have a, no a zero carb meal now. And then I'm going to go for a walk. Uh, I missed my audiobook this morning. Um, just because obviously Holly's with me on Mondays, so I don't leave the house in the mornings. Um, but I'm going to go for my walk now and listen to a new audiobook. I think I'm going to re listen to the four hour work week. Um, so head over to my Snapchat, Brian K019. Um, and I generally just put up my thoughts as I'm reading it and kind of re book recommendations and audiobook recommendations. Um, so that's the end of today's vlog. Hope it helped. As I said, any comments would be great, guys. So anything you want to see, anything you want me to do. Um, I've done nearly a full day of eating today, so three meals and then my standard meals that were in last week, my porridge and protein every morning, um, and I'm going to be doing the same for the rest of the week, so stay tuned. All my meals are going to be tracked this week through Clean Cut because uh, I'm testing out a lot of different foods this week, um, so stay tuned for that. And thanks again for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and if you've got any comments, put them down below in the YouTube section or put them down below in the Facebook section, um, and stay tuned on my Facebook as well for my online program, uh, the new Top 50 is starting this week, on it's starting next Monday, but the, li the link is going live on Thursday, um, so anyone that wants to work with me I'm capping it at 50 people this time so the first 50 people to sign up uh, the link's going to close off and then I'm going to be working with my next top 50 um, in my online program so stay tuned for that on my Facebook page um, and thanks again for watching and catch up with you soon